Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Jay Walker, and today I will be reviewing Reflector 2. Reflector 2 is another app made by Squirrels designed to simplify the screen mirroring process. The difference between Reflector 2 and their most popular AirParrot 2 app is that Reflector will emulate the Apple TV's AirPlay feature, and it will also take advantage of the Google Casting feature used on Android devices. If you own an iPhone or an iPad, you will be able to AirPlay or screen mirror to any device that is running the Reflector 2 app, regardless of the device that it's on. For Android users, your phones, tablets, etc. will be used as the screen mirroring receiver for your iOS devices. The Chromecast is currently unsupported, but it will work on a Fire TV. More on that later. If you want to check out the full list of Reflector 2 features, just scroll to the top of the page and choose the device you're planning to use. I have Reflector 2 running on every supported device, and since I'm going to focus on Reflector for Windows, everything you're about to see will function the same way on a Mac, so you can still follow along without worrying about any potential compatibility issues. With that being said, let's take a look at how everything actually works. Reflector for Android devices just go into a standby mode, waiting for some sort of connection to occur. It's pretty straightforward and doesn't require a whole lot of explanation, but if you do have any questions about it, just let me know. I'll start off by using Reflector for Windows and then jump to Android devices, including the Fire TV. If you don't have Reflector for Windows or Mac, a free 7-day trial is available for you to try and $14.99 if you decide to buy. I currently have Reflector 2 running in the background, so I'll show you what happens when my iPad makes a connection to the Reflector 2 app. As you can see here, my iPad screen is now being mirrored to my computer. Turning off the mirroring option at the bottom of the iPad will switch the iPad into AirPlay mode. In theory, all video or music playing from the iPad will be AirPlayed directly into the Reflector 2 app. Some problems did occur when I tried to AirPlay protected or encrypted videos, such as those used by paid TV providers. These issues did occur on the Mac version as well. On the other hand, videos that are publicly available, such as those found on YouTube, will work without a problem. The color of the iPad you're seeing on the screen can be modified by right-clicking around this area over here and choosing the color you wish to use. The frame around the iPad can also be completely removed if you rather focus on the screen you're mirroring to your computer. Different generations of iPhones and iPads will have a different choice of color options, pretty much identical to how you would find them in retail stores. To show you an example, my old second gen iPad only has two color options, while my iPad Air 2 clearly has a lot more to choose from. The record option is definitely a nice feature to have if you're into recording gameplays, tutorials, or making presentations on your iPad. All sound coming from the iPad will also be captured in the recording as well. I recorded a video sample in case you want to check it out, and I'll link to it in the description box below. If you are trying to record a video that is being airplayed, just note that you may run into a problem. The laptop I use is pretty fast and it still struggled to finalize the short recording I was trying to make. Recording anything in screen mirroring mode does not have these issues and works perfectly fine. You can also record voiceovers or record a webcam while mirroring your iPad screen. Just note that you may need an external microphone as my computer's built-in microphone did not appear on this list of audio devices. The settings inside the Reflector 2 preferences are pretty straightforward and easy to adjust. If you have any questions about them, just let me know in the comment section below. Okay, let's move on and shift our attention to the Android and Fire TV. In a previous video, I had reviewed AirParrot 2 and showed off how you can screen mirror a computer to a Chromecast and an Apple TV. After doing some more testing and not having any luck with the built-in Amazon mirroring feature, I found that you can screen mirror to a Fire TV as well. How is that possible, you might ask? You'll need to have AirParrot 2 installed on your computer and Reflector 2 running on your Fire TV. I bought the Reflector 2 app from the Amazon App Store, which appeared on my Fire TV's home screen shortly after clicking the delivery button. As a bonus, if you buy it from the Amazon App Store, you'll pretty much buy it for all your Android devices as well. 
In order to do that, just make sure to have the Amazon App Store installed on your phone or tablet. If you don't have the Amazon App Store on your Android device, I'll post a link in the description box below. I'm aware that some of you may be hesitant to buy the app because of the low ratings on Amazon, but let me tell you this, since I already own the app, you can request to have me try out anything you didn't see in this video. That way you're not risking a financial loss if you find out something doesn't work the way you want it to. The Reflector 2 app has been updated and improved since its initial release. It certainly has its benefits for Fire TV users. Let's move on to the fun part and see how Reflector for the Fire TV actually works. I'm going to try a few things just to show you what the app is capable of and how it performs on a Fire TV stick. The first thing I'm going to do is mirror my iPad the same way we were doing it before. As you can see, the Fire TV has no problems mirroring the iPad. That is pretty cool, but I think this next test is the best feature of this app. I'm now going to screen mirror my laptop to my Fire TV using the Air Parrot app. And here you go. I'm now mirroring my iPad and my laptop at the same time. I also like how I can continue rotating my iPad and the Reflector app will automatically adjust the mirrored screens on the TV. When I'm finished mirroring my iPad, the Reflector app will continue to mirror my secondary device. In this case, my laptop will now be mirrored full screen to my Fire TV. I can do just about anything with this option and even all the sound on my computer will be transmitted to the Fire TV as well. So this was the Reflector 2 app in a nutshell, my favorite 2 star app ever. One last thing I forgot to mention was the AirPlay functionality on the Fire Stick. It works just like how I explained earlier and has no problem when used with YouTube type videos. However, the skipping and rewinding of a video being airplayed should be avoided. The time skipped on the iPad will not always sync with what's being airplayed to the Fire TV. That pretty much sums up this review of Reflector 2. I think it's a great app and would highly recommend it if you need a screen mirroring app for your home or office. As a thank you for sticking around till the end, here's a bonus feature of Chrome airplaying a video to the Reflector app on my Fire TV. This Chrome extension, named Chrome Play, is available on GitHub and is not a part of the review, but it goes to show you how much potential the Reflector app has on the Fire TV. I'll leave more information about this extension in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.